It is November 24th, 2025, and we're tracking mostly sunny skies and light trade winds over the next few days and a better chance for rainfall as we're heading into the weekend after Thanksgiving. Hey, everybody, meteorologist Drew Davis alongside with you. We've got a no hype weather forecast video for you today, like we do every weekday on this YouTube channel. Let's just get right into it and show you what's going on outside the window. A quick look at our first alert radar and satellite out there. It's been sunny across the majority of the state. Just beautiful out there today. This afternoon, we're really not seeing rainfall anywhere across the entirety of the island chain. Zooming out, however, I do want to show you what's causing these light to moderate trade winds. Of course, we have somewhat of high pressure hanging out to our north, but we've got this very weak front that's going to continue moving to the north of us over the next couple of days, cutting us off from the trade wind flow so we're going to continue to see somewhat light to moderate trade winds out there and then we're watching another front that's going to be developing as we get into this weekend here's what we're tracking light to moderate trade winds out there some brief passing showers early in the morning really going to be dry in the afternoon across the entirety of the state out there and a first alert for you that possible front that we're tracking moving into sunday i do want to show you what's going on in the overall weather pattern so you can see what the weather models are hinting at again last friday we talked about the better chance for some pop-up showers but it seems like we're going to be relatively dry especially as we're going into the thanksgiving holiday let's just take a look at the surface pressure just showing what's going on outside right now we've got a ridge off towards our northeast and northwest these surface highs are going to continue to be pretty weak because of this front that's off towards our north. You can actually see the weakening in the high pressure out there. We might even see some southeasterly winds over the eastern half of the state going into Tuesday. This front's not going to impact us in terms of rainfall. It's going to fill in as we're going into Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we're starting to watch the development of a mid-latitude cyclone that's going to be off towards our northwest. This is the next big weather maker and could potentially bring a much stronger front that's going to be moving in as we're going into this weekend. So we'll see light to moderate trade winds going into Saturday and Sunday. That mid-latitude cyclone is going to move down from the northwest and could potentially go back up towards the northeast but it's going to create a much stronger front that could bring a better chance for rainfall over the western half of the state going into what looks to be the back half of this weekend saturday and sunday again that's still a week out in the weather model so it's going to evolve a lot and even from last friday where we were hinting at another front coming in around thanksgiving or black friday it's getting pushed back in the weather model so we're watching this pretty closely this is also happening at the mid levels we've got this couple of weak troughs that we're watching to the north of us let's just play this out in the mid-level flow so we've got a trough hanging out to us causing weaker trade winds out there again this is really at the mid-level so it's not directly impacting the trade wind flow and then you see a much stronger trough dipping down at the mid-levels going into friday saturday and sunday that's helping with the development of that cold front and that mid-latitude cyclone this is also happening at the upper levels out there so let's take a look at that so going forward in our upper, upper level flow, we've got this weak trough that's to the north of us. You're starting to see the jet stream dipping down closer to us as we're going into Friday and Saturday. Of course, the jet stream is going to get nowhere actually close to us, but it is going to help with the development of that mid-latitude cyclone. That continues pushing off towards the northeast as we go into the beginning of next week. And you can see all of this play out in our first alert future cast. So let's take a look at this going forward really dry over the next couple of days really beautiful out there for monday tuesday and wednesday there's that first front that we were taking a look at that's out there right now on the first alert radar and satellite this falls apart as we're going into wednesday and thursday i'm going to zoom out a little bit to show you the development of this next mid-latitude cyclone so this storm is going to be developing in the northern parts of the pacific continues to move off towards the northeast and then we've got another one that's going to develop going into friday and saturday this second one is potentially going to be the one that brings a front closer to us, and it's much stronger. We're going to see the tail end of this front that could potentially bring some heavier rainfall going into what seems to be, again, Sunday, at least in the most recent weather model runs out there. And again, just with how these weather models evolve over day-to-day run-to-run, -run, this is just a trend that we're looking at. So it's not exactly saying, hey, we're going to see heavy rainfall as we're going into Sunday. We're more figuring out the trends and uh, figuring out the biases in the weather models right now. Again, we're going to continue to fine-tune the details over the next couple of days. But what we can tell you is we're expecting a lot of sunshine going into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thanksgiving. You can see that play out in our first alert future cast, at least in the local view. A few 
few windward showers possible earlier in the morning each day, but drying out in the afternoon. Then as we start to go into this weekend, that front starts to approach more cloud cover over the western half of the state. Maybe a few pop-up showers Saturday afternoon, and again, the front could be moving in Sunday. Our winds outside right now, pretty light between 10 to 15 miles per hour, 13 miles per hour out of the east north, northeast in Honolulu, 16 miles per hour out of the northeast over in Kahului right now. And going forward, you're going to see light trade winds in the overnight between 5 to 10 miles per hour each afternoon between 5 to 10, maybe even 15 miles per hour in some places. And then going into Wednesday, it's really a copy and paste forecast going into the next couple of days. However, with the lighter wind, something that we do watch is VOG, as we're continuing to watch for potentially episode 37 of the eruption of Kilauea in Halemaumau Crater. Some light VOG might be hanging around ha uh, Hawaii Island, Maui. It's Most of it's still staying off towards the west and southwest of Hawaii Island, but with the lighter winds... Some of it might start to creep up across the rest of the island chain, but it's going to be relatively light. It's not going to be anything that impacts air quality too much. This is more for people who are incredibly sensitive to it. Outside of that, here's our surf and shoreline forecast. North and west facing shores are on the decline after the swell over the weekend. More swells are going to be moving in Wednesday into Sunday. A advisory level swell expected on Wednesday, and then a much larger swell expected from that front that's going to be moving in. Also pretty small in town and small on east-facing shores. Let's just play out the swell forecast. Going forward, here's that swell moving in. Wednesday might trigger high surf advisory levels on north and west-facing shores. And then the much larger one's going to be moving in as we're going into Saturday and Sunday. That's because of that front that's getting closer to us, sending all of that energy our way. This next one, if it holds in the weather models might even trigger high surf warning level surf so we've got to watch that pretty closely our island by island forecast let's break this down for your tuesday mostly sunny a few showers possible in the morning especially over windward areas on Oahu, isolated showers out there, mostly sunny conditions. Easterlies between 5 to 10 miles per hour. Moving down to Maui County, 82 degrees for high temperature over in Kauna Kukai tomorrow. Waking up around 69. Light trades expected mostly across the entirety of the state. So really a copy and paste forecast as you're going down the island chain. Kona, are pretty sunny tomorrow. 85 for a high temperature out there in the afternoon. Taking a look at the Hilo side of Hawaii Island. 83, a few showers out there. Again, mostly in the morning, drying out in the afternoon. Over in Pahoa, Puna, around 80 degrees. Volcano, a little bit cooler out there. The northern portions of Hawaii Island, however, will be pretty sunny. And winds around east to 5 to 10, easterlies 5 to 10 miles per hour. And, of course, we're still tracking the tropics. No new tropical cyclones are expected over the next seven days in both the central and eastern Pacific. So, again, we're tracking lighter winds out there, a few, a few splashes, really a copy-and-paste forecast going forward. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe uh, and smash that notification bell. And if you like these videos, something that I, I think I'm going to start asking is uh, for you, please comment. It does a lot for the algorithm and getting these forecast videos out there. I'm always very thankful of seeing everybody commenting in, uh, in below the videos. So thank you again. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, weather permitting. This has been meteorologist Drew Davis.